Shalom. All praise and glory to you. How about Shimi al the honors to the other apostles, a great millstone and salutations to you. I can teach you all truth and sincerity. Uh, this is a quick um, video on UFOs are the chariots of Israel. Um, UFOs are the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, basically. Um, so this is Isaiah 31, verse 5. As birds flying, so will Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending, also he will deliver it and pass, and passing over, he will preserve it. So the Most High Yahweh will send his chariots to basically deliver the one third and the elect from the coming destruction upon this place. He's going to actually um basically he's gonna actually um you know um deliver these um the elect and the uh the one forty four thousand the one hundred and forty four thousand of the, uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American men, and the one-third of the nation of Israel into these chariots, and they will forever be with Yahweh in the air and the angels. And um, basically, that's how he's going to defend uh, Jerusalem. That's how he's going to save Jerusalem, because, you know, the nation of Israel... Our people before it's a place, you know, the, this, the nation, uh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, basically. Um, so, and as it says, defending, he will also deliver. So he's going to deliver the elect, uh, the, uh, the, the 144, 144,000, which are the elect, and the, the one third, he's going to d deliver them into the chariots. They'll be preserved from the, the destruction. The, the the thermonuclear destruction that is going to uh, come on this place called America, which is Babylon. And this place is going to be burned off the face of the earth. And the elect and the one third are going to be preserved and delivered from that coming judgment. You know, so my next scripture is Zechariah 5. One, I'm starting verse one. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. And the length thereof was twenty cubits, and the bread bread thereof is ten cubits, because these chariots look uh look like a um a scroll or a robe, like they're around. Um, you know, they're not um. They're, they're a vehicle that is round and um, looks like a scroll rolled together, I think. Yeah. Um, so, it, it like when Zachariah was uh, 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 describing this, it, he, he basically described it as a roll, a flying roll. You know, it looked like a, ride, a flying scroll, basically. Um, so, my next scripture is back in Jeremiah. Is, it's in Jeremiah. It's lucky. It's in Jeremiah. Um, it's Jeremiah uh, 4, verse 13. Uh, it's Jeremiah 4, 13. Behold, he shall come up as a cloud. His chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. Um, and... Um, it, that he is Yahweh Shai. Um, the clouds are those uh, um, the so-called white man calls them UFOs. They're really IFOs. Um, they're really uh, IFOs. Um, and they're going to come up like a whirlwind. Those are the horses which are swifter than eagles. Because these chariots can fly. Um, their, their time limit is uh different from a regular car or a regular vehicle like they can fly at the speed of light um in minutes and they can be a place in a minute it doesn't take them long to get somewhere so that that's how 
how amazing these chariots are. And, you know, that's how it's going to be, how people are going to look at it. It's going to be a strange uh, salvation, a strange uh, deliverance. It's going to be like, people are going to look at it like, look at the strangeness of this person's salvation. Like, they're going to look at him, looking at certain, uh, they're going to look at um, it as a strange uh, deliverance, a strange thing, but it's all, but the most high Yahweh is at the time is going to come deliver his elect and, um, Yahweh Shai is going to be the one that's going to have the green light to come and do that with the chariots and the angels, um, with him, you know, the angels are going to be there. Uh, I, um, they're going to be there, um, with him. You know, every I believe every angel is going to be there with him, just to usher in this 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 amazing uh, deliverance from this place called America, which is Babylon. You know, so uh, but it says, "Woe unto us, for we are spoiled." You know, but woe unto us, for we are spoiled. That that's um. And it says, 14, I know, O Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge with thee? I used to, I used to there's a song in church. I think Lauren Hill sung this song. O oh, Jerusalem, yeah. Oh, oh, Jerusalem. That, that song, I remind me of that song... I didn't think she got it from here, but she actually got it from Jeremiah 14. Oh, Jerusalem. Yeah, it talks about woe unto our soul. Because, like, when those chariots get into the sky, the, the time to repent is over. Because, you know, once they hit, once they cover the entire sky, the doors of repentance have closed. So that's the reason why it's saying woe unto us. Because like, you know, two thirds and these heathens, well, more likely two thirds going to be like, whoa, shoot. Because like most people do not like, just like it's going to be like in the time of, of Noah. Um, when Noah told um, that told those people, the, told the uh, people around him, that it's going to prophesy to the people around him that it's going to rain. They were like, it ain't going to rain, Noah. It ain't going to rain. But when droplets of rain fell from the sky, they didn't believe. But once it started raining, pouring and pouring and pouring, and it started flooding and flooding and flooding the grounds, and the water was overflowing and it's flooding the entire city. They were wondering where Noah went and was wondering where, um, you know, if they can get on the boat, get on the ark. But they, um, it was too late. By then, uh, Noah and his family, Noah, three sons and him and their wives were all on that ark and were safe. And, and the ark was sealed. So the same thing is going to happen um, the same, it's not going to be the, uh, the, it's going to be the same kind of thing happen again, except this time the most high is going to save the elect, which are the 144, 144,000, then the one third. And that's the only, um, that's the only, uh, people are that are going to be delivered. The hopeful elect, the, uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, and the one third of the nation of Israel, and that's it. Heathens here and two thirds here are gonna die here, and that's that's basically it. You know, they're not gonna be delivered into the chariots. So my next scripture is Second Kings, uh, and that's my last scripture. So let, me, let me find it right quick. Second Kings, two verse eleven. This is 2 Kings 2 verse 11. It came to pass as they shall. Uh, 
Slaki. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind to heaven. And Elisha saw it and he cried, by My father, my father, the chariot. The chariot of Israel, the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more, and he took hold of his clothes and rent them into two, in two pieces. So this is um, the account of Elijah being lifted up into a, a chariot of Israel, the, um, of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and um, you know Elisha basically. Before that, I think Elisha asked um, for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. You know, so the prophet Elijah was lifted up into a chariot, and um, that is um, one um, one account of one of the accounts of of chariots in the scriptures, but. It tells you like these chariots are are the chariots of Israel and a part of our deliverance from this this um this captivity in this this place called America, you know. So um and these are and these chariots are the chariots of Israel, the chariots of Yasharal, the chariots of Yahweh Bashin Yahusha. So I'm gonna say all praise and honor to He how about you your shot double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutations to you. I can teach you all the truth and sincerity.